spending too much on TV service? Thinking about cutting the cord. The digital docs did a deep dive on their cable service at home. In just the last 10 years, they've spent somewhere around $24,000 at home for TV, phone and internet. A frustrating hour was spent recently on a long chat session with the friendly Verizon rep, trying to get a better rate. Alas, it was a failed endeavor. So what are the alternatives to a huge TV bill? The Docs household watches only a few channels on network TV, so, cutting the cable, on the TV part could save up to $90 by choosing an alternative. But how do you watch and record live TV? The answer is surprisingly simple. Since our area is about 15 miles from all the local broadcasting towers, you can use an OTA antenna, over the air, and a little internet-connected box that will record to a cloud service. That will replace that monthly TV portion with an initial investment of around $200, plus a $35 a year subscription service, to record. Wow! That's about $1,000 a year savings. Yes, it can be simple, but it will require a number of carefully planned steps and equipment selection. If you'd like a free white paper on what we did, step by step, email doc at the digitaldocs.com and we'll send it to you. Here's a little primer on how to cut the cable TV cord and save hundreds on your provider service bill. Take a look at your current cable TV bill. What channels do you actually watch? How much are you paying? This will help you determine how much you can save by switching to alternatives. Choose the streaming services that offer the channels you want. There are many different paid services available, so you can choose the ones that offer the best value for your money. Some popular ones include Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, and Disney+. Live TV streaming services allow you to watch live TV channels, including sports and news channels. Get an antenna for local channels, which is your biggest savings. You can get an indoor antenna for around $30 to $70. This will allow you to watch local broadcast channels for free, including ABC, CBS, NBC, and Fox. And if you buy one of the many available devices to record, you're all set. Once you have all of your streaming services and antennas set up, you can cancel your cable TV service. Be sure to return your cable box and other equipment to avoid being charged additional fees. Here are some additional tips for saving money on your streaming services bill. Many streaming providers offer discounted bundles. For example, you can bundle Hulu and Disney Plus for $13.99 per month, which is less than the cost of subscribing to each service individually. Many streaming services offer free trials. This is a great way to try out a service before you commit to subscribing. Share streaming services with friends and family. Some streaming services allow you to share your account with up to six people. This can be a great way to save money if you have a large family or group of friends. By following these tips, you can cut the cable TV cord and save hundreds on your services bill. Until next time, happy shopping!